What is Combo? Combo is a magical gift from the South American rainforest. Combo is a frog poison. The scientific name for Combo is Phyllomedusa bicolor, which also stands for the giant green monkey tree frog, which is super cute. Sapo is also another name for Combo. The size of the male frogs vary and range about from three and a half inches to about four and a half inches, whereas the female frogs are slightly larger. And of course they are. What you doing, girl, with all that? Ooh, they are nocturnal amphibians that live in the tree a few feet above the ground, and they have no known predators. So basically they're at the top of the animal food chain in the Amazon rainforest. Combo is not a psychedelic. So there's no psychedelic experiences that will occur. There may be some insights, some spiritual insights that may happen, but there won't be any going to other dimensions unless you faint and maybe you have like an astral moment in the dream state. I feel that combo encourages you to be in your body and to be present with your body from what I've experienced. It is very somatic. Combo is not the same as Bufo 5-MeO-DMT. Bufo comes from the Bufo alvarius toad, which is a hallucinogen. And people say that it is like going in a spaceship through the center of the cosmos. Combo is legal and combo is not for everyone. Combo was brought over from South America um, in the early 1900s. Traditional uses of combo is um, the South American Amazonian tribes would use it for to go hunting. So the hunters would take combo uh, the day of a hunt and it increased their stamina and enhanced senses. Um, also, they said that it was known to actually um, hide the human scent which pretty much make it invisible uh, <laughs> while hunting, which I think is super dope. The uh, South American Amazonian tribes used um, combo, especially to help remove panema, which uh, means bad luck or negative energies that kind of keep you in a funk, um, maybe some blocked energies as well. And it's also, it was used for, and probably still today, it's used for snake bites, malaria, fevers, and they've even used, given it to unruly children um, to help with like an emo emotional reset. Um, it's also a part of their culture. Combo is not a shamanic medicine, so be mindful um, and use discernment when choosing a practitioner to help service the combo for you. Um, some of the healing properties of combo um, are is that it's antimicrobial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and antibiotic, and also they consider it the vaccine of the forest. I don't know if I should say the vaccine of the forest. So also there's a polypeptides that aid in the magic of combo. The peptides are short chains of amino acids. The body recognizes them and the body welcomes them in like the Trojan horse. <laughs> How is combo harvested? Uh, at night, they find the frogs by calling out to them. They actually mimic the combo frog. Um, it kind of sounds like a, a small dog bark. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. It doesn't sound like your typical uh, ribbing frog. Um, so basically, they go into the rainforest at night and they call out to these frogs and the frogs respond back and they come towards them and they take the, the frogs and they basically gently, with reverence, they take their legs and they tie little strings around them just so that they can get access to the medicine, which is the poison on the back of the frogs, on the back of the frog. And so they take a little bamboo stick and then they gently scrape off some of the poison and then it dries out on the stick. They don't, they try not to scrape off all the poison and leave the frogs completely vulnerable. So that's very good. That's very good to know um, that 
um, the tribes try to be as ethical as possible because they know that um, the gifts that this frog brings, you know, it's it's joy, it's abundance, um, and the re reverse effect would be a lot of bad luck. Um, so that's how they um, capture, well, they don't capture, that's how they get the frog. And then after that, they have a way of knowing when that frog has already been harvested. So they leave that frog alone so that it can re-up its energy and it's all of its magic about, I think it takes about 30 days little over a month and then the frog will be back to normal and um yeah it doesn't seem like the frog is being harmed because from what i've researched usually that the frogs aren't um necessarily running away in fear and shock although they there are certain places that you have to be mindful that people may not be doing it as ethical as they should be what are some of the reasons people work with combo combo can help with can't really say cure since I'm not a doctor. And um, I've I only gained all this information from doing a, a lot of research on my own. So some of the things, some of the reasons why people uh, seek out combo is for emotional, spiritual, and physical cleansing, PTSD, PMDD, mm, hormone imbalances, depression, anxiety, addictions, and as well as the withdrawal symptoms from the addictions, mm, autoimmune disease, cancers, skin issues like psoriasis, among other skin issues, HSV, HIV, diabetes, metabolic symptoms, PCOS, thyroids, diabetes, inflammatory illnesses, fibromyalgia, parasites, extreme fatigue symptoms, tremors, um, helps with dementia, heavy metals that's stored in the body, molds that's stored in the body, E. coli, gut issues, candida overgrowth, um, chronic pain, bacteria infections, fertility, or uh, the opposite if those aren't trying to take the pregnancy to full term and uh, some cases of arthritis. Mm, that's a lot oh, for combo who is not an eligible candidate. Pregnant women, breastfeeding women or women that are breastfeeding struggles with bulimia because um, it has something to do with the esoph esophagus um, and when you purge sometimes if there's been too much strain on the esophagus, it may not be um, recommended. Um, uh, what else is there? Seizures, seizures, epilepsy, high or very high or very low blood pressure, organ transplant patients, um, people that suffer with schizophrenia or embolisms or maybe severe manic, um, heart disease, heart attack, those are some of the things that um, would not really be, would make you ineligible for combo. But always double check with your uh, doctors as well as the practitioner. So basically, um, if you are able to, um, what is it, withstand about a 25 to 30 minute high cardiovascular workout, then um, you might be eligible um, if you have deal with any of these cases, but I'm not a doctor, so please consult with your doctor and practitioner. The combo, the combo ceremony. The combo ceremony is how, no, the combo ceremony. How is the medicine administered? The combo ceremony. How is the medicine administered? Burning the gate. In order for combo, in order for combo to make its way through the lymphatic system, the practitioner uses a tanishi vine or an incense stick. They burn the layers of skin. They burn the insect. They burn the incense stick. Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Oh, it's they take the stick and they burn the layers of skin just to the white meat. There should be no excessive blood dripping. If that happens, then they kind of went too deep and that might also be counterproductive because it's not necessarily trying to enter uh, the blood system through blood contact, but just through the lymphatic system. And then it also works its way through the, like the blood brain kind of channels of some sorts. 
Then you're asked to drink anywhere from one to two liters of water in a matter of 15 minutes or so. You have to drink the water right before the medicine's administered so that it gets into your system. The water acts as a substrate to help the toxins to be pulled from the tissues and into the stomach so that you can release it. Mm. And then be mindful. This is also something to use your discernment. Mm. There's a thing called hypno hypnotremia. There's a thing called hypnotremia. The word is hyponatremia where basically um, it can lead to death because you drank too much water and your body wasn't able to consume and process it in that amount of time. So I would not recommend drinking any more, any more than two liters throughout the whole ceremony and after. What happens after combo is applied? <laughs> Heart beats faster for a few minutes, blood pressure drops, start to, you may sweat, uh, crying, laughing, swollen limbs, your throat may feel tingly, may feel kind of like it's closing up, but it's not. Fainting, sometimes people shake, you will feel uncomfortable, it's a sense of uncomfortability, maybe some stomach cramps, and uh, there may be some gas, burping, uh, your face may swell up, you may have to go to the bathroom, drop a couple of deuces. And then with your face swelling up, with your face swelling up, uh, they call that frog face, um, and that's an interesting thing. Not everyone has that experience, but um, sometimes it happens. Just so that you're aware, and that's just the medicine working through the body, and like the blood is, it's moving, it's circulating. How long does the combo ceremony last? Uh, the duration can be anywhere from. 20 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half. It depends on each individual case as well as the practitioner. Um, after that, when they had put the medicine on the gates, um, I can actually show you the gates that I have here, right here. It's closed up and it's healing nicely. Um, after they put the medicine on, take the medicine off, you will start to feel a little bit better. You may feel kind of, um, like you wanna lay down and relax because you just purged, you got rid of things that are no longer serving you. So after that, then they um, remove the medicine and then they apply dragon's blood, uh, which is comes from South America. It's a, it is South American tree sap and it helps with inflammation and healing. And it's applied to the gates and that is how they seal the gates. You will either want to relax for the rest of the day or you may want to go out and do like a two, three, five mile run, depending on the person. How often can you take combo? Uh, you can take combo as often as you are feel called to. Some people take it one time and then that's the last time that they ever need combo. There's some people that take it um, as like a routine maintenance, you know, like getting a tune up or you know if they're having certain things like traveling in certain places and they want to be mindful of getting any sicknesses or things like that then that can also be a good way to take that to take combo as well um but no one does combo unless they are called <laughs> uh so basically just to uh, put my few like last minutes in. So in summary, Combo is an intelligent being. Combo knows where to go and can hear and see what you don't see or don't want to see. Combo beautifies, detoxifies, and cleanses the immune system and restores the body for a deeper connection with self. Um, this magical frog has no known predators. So the frog lives with no fear, therefore has no energy related to fear in its system. So combo helps release fears. It's warrior medicine. Uh, it's the fear release cheat code. <laughs> so 
that's pretty much all that I have on combo. I did a lot of work and research and um, I came up with all this beautiful information and I look forward to sharing more information about my healing journey and what it is that I experienced as I did combo. So thank you and I appreciate you, your time and energy. Till next time.